40% of your body weight is made up of around 600 muscles. And if you don't know what the main muscles in your body are, then it's time to change that. So, what muscles can you even train? What are they called? And how do they work? If you want to reach your fitness goals, then this is an absolute must know. We will be going over almost every single skeletal muscle that you can train in your body. Muscle fact number one. What is the most active muscle in your body? It's your heart. It is constantly working and in a day it pumps around 9400 liters of blood through your body. Therefore, I want you to take care of your heart as it proves every day that it loves you by working non-stop. And if you want to take care of my heart, then make sure to hit the like button. Let us start with the lower body in relation to muscle size. But before we continue, it's time for another muscle fact. Muscle fact number two. What is the biggest muscle in your body? It's your butt, aka your glutes. This muscle is so powerful and so big because it has to keep your body in an upright position, especially when you're walking upstairs. Glutes are especially important if you want to get faster at sprinting as they create a lot of power. You can train your glutes by isolating them through hip thrusts or training them by building up your squat and plenty of other accessory movements. Next up, we have the quadriceps, which consists of four big heads. The muscles of the quadriceps extend the legs at the knee and are essential for every movement involving the lower body such as running, moving and standing. This muscle is trained through squats, leg presses and every major movement related to your lower body. Then there are the hamstrings. The hamstrings are responsible for flexing your knee joint and extending the back of your leg backwards to propel your movements such as sprinting and jumping. This muscle is trained through hamstring curls, stiff leg deadlifts, lunges and more. Our calf muscles are next on the list. This muscle pulls our heel up while walking, running, jumping and dancing. It is considered to be an extremely strong muscle as it is stretching against gravity to keep us upright. It can be mainly trained through running activities, squats and calf raises. Muscle fact number three. What is the strongest muscle in relation to its weight? The jaw masseter muscle. In coordination with your jaw muscles, it can generate up to 90 kilograms in biting power on the molars. So watch out what you're biting or you might lose your tongue. Next, we have the upper body by Synergy. Let's start with the pulling muscles. So muscles that work together when you're pulling weight. The largest is our back, including the lower back for simplicity reasons. The back in general consists of many muscle groups that aid in twisting, bending and standing upright. But covering all of them would be way too much. Generally speaking, your back can be trained with pulling exercises such as pull-ups, rows, deadlifts and similar variations. The next muscle that helps with pulling movements is the biceps. Called biceps because it consists of two heads, a short and a long head. When the muscle contracts it pulls the forearm up and turns it outwards. It can be trained with your ordinary pulling exercises such as pull-ups and isolation movements such as curls in every variation. Muscle fact number four. If you didn't have soft muscles adjusting the position of your eyes, every time you turn they would just roll around and never look in the same direction. Crazy, right? However, they also tend to get tired quickly when reading books for an extended period of time as your eyes make nearly 10,000 coordinated movements in an hour. Pulling muscle number three are the forearms. The muscles in your forearm work together in moving the elbow, forearm, wrist and fingers. You can do a good enough job of training them by doing your normal back exercises or isolating them by doing forearm curls and similar variations. Then we have the traps. In coordination with your shoulder muscles, the traps are responsible for generating a lot of force when certain objects, as well as turning your head 
raising and lowering your shoulders and internally rotating your arms. Additionally, the trapezius aids in standing upright and maintaining that posture. You can train your traps by carrying heavy objects with a good form or doing shrugs with heavy weights. Next on, we have the pushing muscles. So the muscles that work together when you have to push people out of the way. Beginning with the chest, also known as pecs, which are also super important for women who want to enhance the shape and fit of their breasts. The chest is responsible for moving your shoulders and pulling your arms across the front of your body. You can train your chest by doing push-ups, bench pressing variations and chest fly variations. Muscle fact number 5. What is the strongest muscle in terms of its muscle endurance and its ability to withstand gravity? It's your tongue. The tongue is always working and withstanding gravity. Even while you sleep, it is constantly busy pushing saliva down your throat so that you don't suffocate. So, make sure to brush your tongue to make it shine while keeping you alive while you're sleeping. Pushing muscle group number two is the shoulders, also known as delts, which consists of three heads, the front delts, lateral delts, and rear delts. The delts help with rotating the arms internally and externally, raising and lowering them at the side of your body, and moving your arms over your head and behind your body. The front delts can be trained by overhead presses such as the military press, benching exercises and front raising variations, or even handstand push-ups. Lateral delts are trained mainly through side raises with cables or dumbbells, and they create an illusion of a V-shape by enhancing the size of your shoulders. Rear delts are trained by pulling exercises such as face pulls, rear delt flies, and rows. Then we have the triceps. The triceps consists of three heads, as the name suggests, and is responsible for extending your forearm, so stretching your arm, and also stabilizing your elbow while writing and aiming. It is trained in two variations. First, by pushing weight in front of your body, and second of all, pushing weights behind or over your head. Example exercises are push-ups, triceps push-downs with a cable or bar, or triceps extensions such as skull crushers and french presses. The core of your body consists of many muscle groups, yet for simplicity reasons we are going to consider them as abs. The core of your body is important for breathing, singing, coughing, laughing, bending and protecting your organs from blows. You can train your core with planks, leg raises, vacuuming, so sucking in your belly and different crunching variations. There are a lot of smaller yet impactful muscles that we didn't cover specifically today. Yet, by improving in the suggested movements and training them regularly, you can train almost every muscle in your body. To learn how to construct a great training plan to train all of your muscles effectively, make sure to hit the subscribe button to not miss out. Peace.